What's up everybody, it's Warren and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a lot of exciting things to talk about as we have a ton of new information about the upcoming Loki series that is going to be on Disney Plus. Including the first video from the set of the Loki series production released by Tom Hiddleston himself. And of course I'll be showing that video in just a second along with talking about who the main villain for the Loki series could be. How that main villain has probably already been revealed thanks to a casting call for the show. And to top it all off, we've learned a little bit more about the plot of the Loki series that I'll be talking about at the end of the video. A ton to dive into and break down today. If you're new, be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on so you can stay up to date on everything relating to the MCU and so you can enter my giveaway for a chance to win an Xbox One or a PS4. And I'll talk more about the giveaway at the end of the video. So here's the video that Tom Hiddleston released just yesterday. Rolling, and three, two, one, go. <laughs> so of course, as you just saw, it's a super short clip, but nonetheless, very exciting because it's the first thing that we've got about the Loki series from its production, and it was released by Tom Hiddleston himself. He posted this on Instagram with the title, Prep is going really well, hashtag Loki. Now, whatever he's doing, whatever film he's prepping for, he obviously didn't stick the landing. That's what prep is for. And the awesome part is that now that filming has begun for the series, much like the WandaVision series, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series, and of course the Eternals, we get leaked photos and videos. So expect more photos and videos that are of course going to be leaked to come out very soon that will reveal more about the plot of the Loki series. But of course, as we all know, it doesn't necessarily take a leaked photo or a video to figure out more about the plot. Recently, the Loki series has had some casting calls, which revealed two major things about the Loki series. One is that even though season one is a long way away, season two has been confirmed. And two, the main villain of the series might possibly have been revealed. There's been a report by Charles Murphy from murphysmultiverse.com stating that some of the contracts for the actors that are signed on for the Loki series have an option for season two. And he said on his website, and I quote him here, I can confirm with 100% certainty that a second season of Loki will happen. So even though we don't have season one yet, great news for Loki fans, we're going to be getting a season two. But this is pretty much expected for all of the Disney Plus series that are going to be coming to phase four and phase five. We can expect to have multiple seasons of all of the shows that are going to be coming. Because remember, all of the Marvel Disney Plus shows do take place in the MCU. Everything that happens in these shows affects the movies that we're going to see in the MCU as well. And Kevin Feige has already stated that we're going to see some of the characters in these shows in actual movies. So definitely expect multiple seasons of each show. But then there's the reveal of what looks to be the main villain. A recent casting call for the Loki series says that they're looking for a female who portrays Caucasian between 5'6 and 5'8 with blonde hair, and they emphasize blonde hair. Now, if you look throughout Marvel Comics history that involves Thor and Loki, there aren't too many females that have blonde hair. At least none that are of any significant importance to the Thor and Loki storyline that fans would be excited to see. In fact, there really is only one character that comes to mind, and she really is perfect to be introduced in the series, and that person is Enchantress. For the avid comic book reader, you probably know all about Enchantress, but for those of you who don't know, let me explain who she is, and why she's perfect to be introduced in the Loki series and then go on to be in Thor Love and Thunder. You see, Enchantress is one of Thor's greatest enemies in the comics, and there are actually two versions of her, both of which tie into Thor and Loki. The first Enchantress goes by the name of Amora. She's an Asgardian and is one of the most powerful sorcerers ever, much like Loki himself. Now, of course, we already know that the Loki series is going to tie into Thor Love and Thunder. And in Thor Love and Thunder, we know that Jane Foster is going to be able to lift and wield Mjolnir and become Thor. And this is really important to know because in the comics, Enchantress actually has a connection to Jane Foster. Now, in the comics, much like in the MCU, Odin doesn't really approve of Thor and Jane Foster. He sees Jane Foster as a distraction for Thor, so in the comics, he sends Enchantress and Scourge the Executioner to eliminate her. Scourge ends up trapping Jane Foster in another dimension, but of course, Thor comes and rescues her. Enchantress kind of goes rogue on the mission as well, and Thor brings the two of them, Scourge and Enchantress, back to Asgard. There, Odin then banishes the two of them to Earth. And once they're on Earth, they join Baron Zemo's Masters of Evil. Now, this is pretty important to know MCU-wise because this could connect the Loki series to the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series. 
We know that Zemo is going to be returning for the show, and it's been highly rumored and speculated that Zemo is going to be a part of the Thunderbolts, and it could even be the start of him assembling his Masters of Evil, which Enchantress could be a part of. Now, Enchantress also has a pretty deep connection to the Avengers of well, despite her basically being in love with Thor, she's attacked Thor and the Avengers many times. One time, she even hypnotized Thor into attacking the other Avengers. She did this with spells on a special brew, making him believe that they are enemies of humanity. But luckily for Thor, Iron Man snapped him back in the shape. But as you can kind of see, Enchantress is basically a female version of Loki, and the two of them actually get along very well in the comics. Now, there is actually a second version of Enchantress called Sylvie Lushton, and she's actually created and given mystic powers by Loki. Loki created her as a tool for chaos, which of course, Loki loves. And just like Loki is a trickster, Enchantress isn't too far off. She seduces people with her looks and her charm and mind controls them. Again, basically a female version of Loki and could even be his love interest in the show. That's something that we haven't seen Loki have yet, a love interest, and since this is going to be a show all about Loki, it may be possible. And this also aligns with a recent plot leak that we got for the Loki series. And considering the fact that production has begun for the Loki series, we just got our first video, this could indeed be real. So, if you are trying to avoid all and any possible spoilers for the Loki series, you should click away now. Now, if you're still with me, we actually know quite a bit about the plot of the Loki series. We know that it's going to take place immediately following the events of Avengers Endgame when the Avengers go back in 2012 and Loki escapes with the Tesseract. It's going to pick up right after Loki escaped. And we even have a logline that states, the Loki series follows Loki after the events of Avengers Endgame as the trickster uses the powers of the Tesseract to travel throughout human history and change historical events. So Loki is going to be traveling all throughout time in this new alternate universe that he created by escaping with the Tesseract. And according to FandomWire.com, they say that Loki will jump through the multiverse with the aid of the Tesseract and return to the current MCU timeline slash dimension just in time for Thor Love and Thunder. It's also stated that Loki is going to bring back Mjolnir into the main timeline for Thor Love and Thunder. Now this means that somewhere along the line of the Loki series, Loki is going to have a serious change of heart. Because the Loki that we saw in 2012 definitely is not worthy in enough to lift Mjolnir. That means sometime during the series he's going to become worthy enough to lift Mjolnir because he's going to bring it back to the main timeline in Thor Love and Thunder. But why would Loki bring back Mjolnir to the main timeline to give to Thor? Well, Enchantress could be the reason. Enchantress could threaten Asgard, after all she's done that many times in the comics before. And a recent plot leak, if true, gives us a little bit more insight. And this plot leak says that, Rumor has it that the series will actually follow the dead Loki narrating his trajectory. Much of the story will be the younger version of Loki, which means that Tom Hiddleston will not be the only actor to play the character. In addition, Frigga will have a role in the series, the younger version of Thor will also appear, scenes with Odin will not show the face of actor Anthony Hopkins, Loki will narrate the tragic trajectory for the Norns trying to save his soul from hell. And then it says that Carnilla will be a villain of the series. Now, Carnilla is very important, one, because she is queen of the Norns, and two, she trained and taught Enchantress. Enchantress was Carnilla's apprentice. So it seems like this is all sort of coming together for the Loki series. Because remember that Loki is going to tie into Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, and it appears that Loki is going to be jumping through different multiverses as well. Therefore, he could encounter two different versions or even more of Enchantress. One could be his love interest, but another could threaten him and threaten Asgard. And clearly, at some point in time, he's going to have a change of heart since he's going to bring Mjolnir back to the main timeline to give to Thor, which of course we know eventually Jane Foster is going to wield. And that is supposedly how the Loki series is going to tie into Thor Love and Thunder. Now, this casting call for Enchantress actually lines up with a recent rumor that Jennifer Lawrence is being eyed to play Enchantress. Now, this is just a rumor. It hasn't been confirmed by any means, but it does line up up with this casting call for Enchantress. So, a lot of big news for the Loki series. Production has officially begun, and it seems like we're going to be getting a season two, which is great news because no doubt that this series is going to be absolutely fantastic. 
And it appears that Enchantress has been revealed to be at least one of the villains of the Loki series, and possibly even a love interest as well. And it definitely looks like there's going to be multiple versions of Loki throughout the show, which makes sense considering the fact that it's going to tie into the multiverse. So let me know what you think about this. Let me know what you think about Enchantress being the main villain or a possible love interest for Loki. Let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe with notifications turned on so you can stay up to date on everything related relating to the Loki series and the MCU. All you have to do to enter my Xbox One and PS4 giveaway is subscribe with notifications turned on, like the video, and leave a comment down below, and I'm picking a winner at 550,000 subscribers. All the details are in the description down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.